Hey folks, it's Community Kevin, and we're outside of our Dockside Learning Center here in the beautiful Fisherman's Wharf in Oxnard, California. Just wanted to give you a little heads up about today's trip. We're in Santa Barbara, California. Santa Barbara, you've seen us fish there multiple times. It's a great place to take off and fish. It's a great place for tourism, and they're a really big partner and supporter of everything we do from the Real Guppy Outdoor Program to our Langer's Fishing Show. And on this trip, we're going out to Santa Rosa Island to do some rock fishing aboard the Stardust out of Santa Barbara Sport Fishing. Just nonstop action on this trip, particularly the we're just catching fish kind of all day. Some days it's like that up the outer island, some days it's not. But you really do have a good shot of catching a bag full of fish when you do venture out to like Santa Rosa or San Miguel, or again, driving up the coast an hour, jumping on a three hour boat trip out to the flats, again, making a full day out of it. So Kevin Brandon, Community Kev, here with the Real Anglers Fishing Show, going up to Santa Barbara to do some fishing. Let's go. Uh, usually on this boat, man, we do pretty good on the link cause, so let's, hope, let's uh, hope we can keep that, that going. We just untied from the dock, the fellas are, Got us leaving as you can see. Beautiful sunrise over the Santa Barbara Pier right there. Doesn't get much nicer than that. One short. All right, and country music. Have you seen any of that? Country music and link audition. Bait's ready. We got strip squid down there. We got nice healthy sardines. Fresh bait. Larry on it. Bait holders. Right now we're fishing uh, rockfish, link on. Uh, maybe a few whitefish, we're about 200 feet. Got a few wink on in the bag, some uh, some good rockfish, big blues, a few chucklehead we've been releasing. delicious eating fish. Anyway, so far uh, we got maybe two fish around on that first two drifts. One short thing for me and I lost a jig. 29? Okay. Another blue bass. Go ahead, bring it in the boat. Yeah, just bring it in. That's good right there. And then swing it in like that. There you go. <laughs> Nice vermilion come up the side right here. See? Guy on the stern with sardine action. So it looks like we got 
sardines on this side, squid on the other. All right, and they're down, they're going down. All right, so everybody waits for the captain to make his announcement. Captain announced it, Captain Sal, get him down there. You'll see everybody's on a drop right now. It's very important that everybody drops when the captain says so. Keeping track, keeping tabs on what they're catching. Oh, 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 there he's on already. Oh, ho, ho. See what Larry's got. Nice. There it is, there it is. Look at that white fish, Blanco. Yee! Into the boat, welcome aboard. Big whitey under. There we go. White fish. Come and get some. Brought to you by Aftco Fishing Apparel and Tackle, designed to perform. Channel Island Sport Fishing, offering deep sea fishing on quality sport fishing charter boats, and more. Costa Sunglasses, discover life's greatest adventures with Costa. See what's out there. Daiwa, if you want innovation and quality in your fishing products, Daiwa has what you need. Promar and Ahi USA, premium fishing products and accessories with concepts developed by passionate anglers. Eagle Claw, American ingenuity and craftsmanship since 1925. Mudhole, the world's largest inventory of rod building and tackle crafting components from the best brands. Mossy Oak, from hot days in the water to sweltering afternoons in the woods, we've got you covered. Outfit your obsession. Special thanks to Subaru Aventura and the Latino Business Expo. The islands are so green right now also, after all the rain that we had this year. That Santa Rosa over there. And that Santa Cruz over there. All right, all right. Anyway, I want some of that action. Hey. All right, we're on the upper deck now. We're gonna film this next clip from up top, see what it looks like. The bait's ready. We got strip squid down there. We got nice healthy sardines. Larry on it. Another big blue coming in. Woo! Uncle Traveling Matt there with his backpack still on. Very nice. I'm gonna measure it just to make sure. Regulations. Oh no! Just short, buddy. Just short. Oh, 21 and a half. Look bigger from up here. All right, so I came downstairs. You can see the blue bass here. Let's run along and see what they got. Blue bass here. These are so good eating right here. Hold that one up. Look at that. They got double. Double. Another blue bass over there. You can see the deck cat doesn't stop running around. Look, another blue bass. On the blue bass. All right. Fishing's good. Larry got. We've got spines on the back that could. Uh, I am better off using my dice. Venom is here. Does that work for you? Yes. There you go. Anyway, give him a little haircut. 
They're venomous, not poisonous. People say they're poisonous. That's not true. You could eat the meat, but if you get stung by one of those, it's like a wasp sting. Just the sardine dangling right there. Where you can probably see the link caught took a bite out of it. Look at this thing. See those teeth marks on that thing? Ling cod bite. I'm gonna let it go, okay? There you go. Good luck, man. Here we go. Right now. This segment of Real Guppy Outdoors is brought to you by the Puerto Wanimi. We move cargo. Hey folks, it's Community Kevin, and we're at the Guppy Dockside Learning Center Multimedia Studio. And we're just gonna show you a couple of things that we have here that we just added to our Guppy Learning Center, so come check it out. We got some new seashells that we put together that Leslie, one of our staff, has put together. So these are just a way for us to curate different seashells from around this area. Some people drop things off, and then we kind of just um, disperse it throughout the uh, Learning Center in different areas that we think it fits. One of the cool things that we have down here was one that I found when I was teaching at a carpenteria. And this is says, how'd that happen? So when the kids come in, you say, hey man, I wonder how that happened. Look, how'd this seashell get lodged inside of that rock, right? And they could kind of come up with their own ideas. See how there's little question marks? So Leslie put that together. And then the same thing, how'd that rock get in there? Or how did this, um, how did that shell get stuck inside of that rock? Isn't that kind of interesting? You know, was it just from the tide? And another thing we have here, look at these three shells all bound together. So this is one we called uh, how that happened. And the, and the youth that come in here, they get a chance to kind of just come up with their own little ideas and stories about what they think could have happened, right? Over here, some more shells that we've collected or been donated. This one stands out to me a lot. This is called the broken but beautiful section. And again, see how these shells might have a little brokenness to them, but they're still beautiful. So this is the broken but beautiful section. And again, just to showcase in case you might be broken or damaged. And again, one of the little kids came in and brought this in for us that he found the other day um, on the dock. So that goes right there. But again, broken but beautiful. And then down here, these are our newest edition. I got these from Texas when I was out there. And again, we don't kill anything for the sake of killing it. I found this blue crab leg while I was uh, fishing on the pier. And then these are just ones that I picked up off the ground over there. And then we got our shark. And here's a funny story. When I was bringing this back from Texas, they went through my luggage wanting to know if I was smuggling something and I was smuggling baby sharks. So this is a well in there. And we also have some shark teeth and stuff. So these are my artifacts. Whenever I go on a fishing trip or I'm out filming, um, I'll collect artifacts and bring them back. And these are just some of the cool things that we have here in the Dockside Learning Center. On our back shelf right here, again, we have some more shells that we've collected. Now behind our learning center, we do have the commercial boats that come in here. If you see through there, you'll see some of the commercial boats that come in. Well, sometimes they'll drop stuff out of their nets over on the, uh, where the scale is at. And we'll go over there and we'll collect these items here. So this is our little, our little box that I'll go over there, our little treasure chest and try to collect items that have fallen out and dried out. Again, we don't kill things for the sake of killing them. Like check this one out here. There's a little barnacle that fallen out. So we'll just find where to go in here. And when the, when the kids come in here, everything is about their level. Kind of like the old blockbuster days where you get your little snacks, everything is right about their level. So that way it's, well, plus I'm only five foot six myself. So <laughs> me and the kids hang out about the same eye level. Anyway, this is different areas. So about mussels that they could touch and feel the textures and the different types of starfish that we have here, the brittle stars, the regular starfish. And again, these are just things that they get a chance to come in and check out all the way from some of the vegetation that's out there. Again, some more seashells and people drop these off like this spider crab. Right, so they get to touch it and fill it. And we actually catch these on the Port Wainimi Pier when we're doing our kid fishing days. This is um, a sea urchin. 
So again, things fall out. This is a piece of the sea urchin. And again, I use these for teaching tools, right? Like if you step on the rock and this goes in your foot, whose fault is it? Is it his fault? Or is it your fault because you didn't watch where you're putting your feet, right? So that way we figure out like things about responsibility and blame. So I have all these different cool ways of explaining life lessons using uh, different types of sea creatures, but then also teaching about sustainable fishery. You want to catch a lobster and take it home and eat it, it has to be a certain size. So we use all these different live props, you know, again, a, a crab claw that we found on the pier when we're out there fishing and put them into our learning center. And uh, that's kind of just one of my visions is to come in here and have an, a live hands-on museum at our learning center for the kids that want to be marine biologists. So there's a quick little walkthrough and a simple walkthrough at the Dockside Learning Center with Community Kevin with the Rolling Their Network. And again, we just want you to have a great day. We'll see you next time. We've got the Macro Color Assault 8 ounce J. We're only fishing in about 170 feet. So we're not gonna go that heavy. A little shallow. Let's see if we get some off the back with no bait, just jigging it. We live in our best life. 400 rigged up with the little braided line. That's a 400. And I just put about two feet of mono on there. Just above, so there's not that stretch. There it was on the bottom. My first fish of the day on that mackerel colored Ahi uh, Assault Diamond Jig. But this is a shorty, so we're gonna throw it back. But he annihilated it. Yeah, we're gonna put this one back. It gotta be 22 inches to keep, and this one's probably about 17 inches. Still a beautiful fish. We're gonna get it right back into the water. All right, second, third cast with the jig. Nice vermilion. We're gonna keep two of those now. What do you think of that? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's what yeah. we're looking for. Million rockfish in the new size one. Size one. Yes, sir. We're about to get two of those. One for Kev. Yeah, baby. Get back out there. Catching them, Dave, and the whitefish on the jig, Larry. Yes, look sir. Non-stop action. Right in the honey. Yeah, the, the honey hole's right over here, <laughs> off the port side. So this gopher bass couldn't resist either. Two through the gums. Two to the lips. Chewing this one up pretty good. Brand new out the box. Chewing it up nice. Good. On the mackerel, back to the mackerel one and uh, that beautiful chocolate head. Some of the best eating fish out here today. Again, no bait on the jig, just straight out using the treble hook. Size. Get him out. I just double hooked him. <laughs> Got any, Larry? Yeah, I got you. All right, so here we go. It's been just back to back to back on my ling. Baby! Five fish in a row. Right here, let me check that out to you. So there's the dial guy right now, Mark. I'm texting him while catching these fish. Beautiful. All right. Stardust, man. That's how we do it out here in Santa Barbara. The Linger's Fishing Show. Let's go. Go to our catalog at our website and check out all the Guppy Ranger stuff. Towels, workbooks, clothing, Everything you can see, that everything you see on the show, you can purchase yourself at communitykevin.com for all your real Guppy Ranger gear and apparel. Let's go.